A lot of noise this morning, but no eggs. <laughs> got a very cold morning today. I'm running around on the plow, just getting some of the snow removed. I don't have too much, maybe like four inches on the ground. But Ariel was running the snow blower last night and she broke one of the shear pins way back in there. I changed that and then she hit another rock late last night and she broke one of the other shear pins right here. So I'm gonna fix that for her real quick. That way I can run the plow and she can do some snow blowing. And these things are pretty easy to change. Usually the hardest part is just getting that old one out if it got kind of smashed in there. And believe it or not, this happens quite a bit. You could hit a tiny little rock and it could bust one of these pins on you. So I'm gonna get this new one in. So the new one's on. That's the old one. And I think Ariel's ready to get snow blown. I thought that that's how I used to do it. I was trying to figure that out. to give a quick update on the two beehives that we have. They're behind me and they seem to be doing well so far. I can listen past the insulation and see if they're buzzing around in there. So far everything's good and we're about to go into December so we've just barely gone through the beginning of winter. I guess not even technically winter at all. Eric and I are making a little trail out here. We want to have accessibility to the bees. Last year we didn't do that and then we ended up with a lot of snow out here. You may have seen us spreading some ashes around the bees and I wanted to try that this year for a few different reasons. Mainly the bees when they come out on cleansing flights they're attracted to the snow so they'll just land in the snow and then they die. So I have tried that to help mitigate that and I'm also trying it to help keep the snow melted because when you spread ashes like that it helps melt the snow so it's actually very helpful and I'm probably going to do it again in a few days but we have some snow coming up. We're going to take a few more laps in the snow machine and the sled around the bog and then we're going to head inside for dinner. Didn't get much solar today, so 
I'm gonna charge up the house for about an hour and we're not quite ready to go inside for dinner yet. There's still one more thing I wanna do over in the shelter logic. All right, we decided that we wanted to make some corn mousse, which is like corned beef, but we're using mousse roasts and this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna take this ice chest, I'm gonna put this five gallon food grade bucket right in the middle and I'm gonna fill up the ice chest with a couple inches of water and we're gonna leave this outside for a few days until the water hardens into ice and we're gonna have a huge ice cube in there. And then we'll be able to put our meat in here and just leave this inside the cabin and let the meat do its thing. So I got a frozen jug of vinegar in this bucket and that's what's gonna kinda weigh it down in the water. And that's it, we're gonna get this thing filled up. That bottle of vinegar wasn't heavy enough. I got my propane tank on here. Probably have like uh, six or seven inches of water in there. Starting to warm up around here. Hopefully by tomorrow afternoon, this will be frozen solid and then we can uh, get our meat out, get it thawed out and start making our corn mousse. So I believe now we're ready to go inside and make dinner. We're getting started on dinner. We are gonna do some pipe that we caught the other day. We're doing steamed vegetables. We got carrots, these nice looking potatoes, and then three huge cloves of garlic. I'm gonna get this going. I'm also gonna get some white rice going over on the wood stove. The veggies and the rice are just about done. We're gonna start cooking our pike. And we marinated this in rice wine vinegar, olive oil, a bunch of herbs, and some salt and pepper, and I'm just gonna cook this in a little bit of olive oil. I think I can fit it all. Everything is done. Let's plate this food up and let's eat. All right, it's about 10 in the morning. We're going on a snow machine ride. We're gonna start doing the meat, making the corn mousse, but it warmed up and that ice is not frozen yet. So hopefully when we get back or maybe tonight we'll be able to start the meat.
good stuff. It's actually turning out to be a pretty windy day out here. A little chilly. I think it was probably like 15 degrees when we left the house, but we've been 12 miles. We're just exploring the trails next to our house. Um, the main reason we're kind of using the snow machines a lot this year, and we're just kind of getting out and riding, is we're trying to get better because we have um, some trips planned for this year, and they're going to be pretty long trips, a lot longer than we've ever been on, like in the over 100 mile round trip range. So we're just going out here, doing some riding. We want to see how much fuel these sleds burn. And speaking of sleds, you might notice that Ariel got herself a new snow machine. I still got my Polaris that we bought last year. That's a 2013. This is the one Ariel just got. And this one is actually a 2010 model, but the folks who we got it from, they didn't have a lot of time to ride it and it only had 230 miles on it when we got it. So this thing's like in brand new condition. Ariel's really loving this thing. It's a little sportier than the Polaris and I'm kind of jealous. It's really fun to ride it. But we're gonna eat some lunch. Ariel packed us some Thanksgiving leftover sandwiches. I'm really looking forward to this sandwich. It's got turkey, gravy, cranberry, and mustard. And some homemade bread that Ariel just made. The turkey and the bread is grilled. been out on this trail that we're on right now so we're gonna go a little bit further and see how far we can get but we're probably definitely gonna turn back around sometime soon because I can tell that air is changing and I don't really want to be out here when the storm comes in <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Okay, round trip, 27 miles. I think it's November 30th. And we've already been on about four rides this winter, so pretty early season. Really stoked to be able to get out there early. Yep. It's been a few days and our ice chest is finally frozen enough that we can start on our corn mousse. Inside this pot, I have a gallon of water that I'm gonna heat up until it's boiling and we're gonna add our ingredients. We're doing salt, brown sugar, we're going to do pink peppercorns, black peppercorns, mustard seed, juniper berries, and coriander. The main part of the brine is going to be the sugar and the salt, and we're going to use a cup and a half of salt, and we're going to do a half a cup of brown sugar. This is smelling really good. I also added some cinnamon, ground allspice, and some ground cloves. We're going to get this to a boil, make sure everything is dissolved. Then I'm going to stick it outside, let it cool down a little bit, and then we'll be ready to add it to our moose meat. Well, it's zero degrees out today, so this should not take too long to cool off. We are ready to brine our meat. We're using a two pound piece of a moose roast that we have. And we're going to go ahead and stick this in our five gallon bucket in our ice chest. We're going to pour our brine over our meat. Cool. We're going to use that plate in there to keep the meat submerged. And we're going to keep our cooler closed. And in about four to five days, this will be done and ready to cook. And we'll see you guys then. Good morning everyone, it is day four since we've had our corn mousse in the brine in the ice chest and we're going to be cooking it today. Brining the meat in that ice chest, it actually worked really well for us. The ice easily lasted these four days. I got the mousse meat in that bucket pulled out of the ice chest and we're actually going to be making like a corn mousse hash for breakfast today. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be cooking the meat inside of our cast iron Dutch oven. I'm going to be adding the meat, potatoes, onion, garlic, I'm gonna be covering it in moose broth. We're gonna let that cook for a couple hours and then we're gonna fry up our corned moose hash. Alrighty, coffee's done. Corned moose is on the stove. That's gonna go for about two hours and then we're really gonna cook breakfast. Our meat is done, went for about two hours. I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna dice up about half of it Add some frozen bell peppers, some of those potatoes, the onion, and a few eggs, and we're making hash.
this looks awesome. And it's probably like 11 o'clock in the morning, so we're starving. I think four days on brining this meat was like perfect. It's not too salty, but you could definitely taste the salt. And we're gonna dig in, we're gonna eat, and we will see you guys next time. <laughs> the sandwich bag you blew away. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Storm or something coming in, right? Tonight. Back took off on me. <laughs>